dab. It's a pretty shit dab. So, on the bullet train, on the way back from Hiroshima, now, we didn't film there because that was maybe a little disrespectful, so we've got some photos, so you'll see those now, but yeah, on the way back on the bullet train, so, I don't know if you can see this because it's really tight, but these are like little separate cabins on the, on the train. We can't get access to them for some reason, but it is pretty fancy in there, you can look over the top. Um, but yeah, we'd like to get in, but it's a relatively nice cabin. We're sitting here, which is good. I'll show you where Bryce is. Oh, Bryce, you've done in the loo. Do you want to show yeah. us the loo? It sucked it all out. Like, really. Did it? Yes. <laughs> it's on the freaking floor. <laughs> It's on the floor, basically. The toilet. And there's like a little sink area. Oh shit, we're moving now. Yeah, there's like a little little sink area and you can like wash your hands and stuff. Wait. Gentleman's in there, I didn't realise. Wait, were you and the girls? Oh shit. That's Japanese style. Oh, that's unisex. Is that right. Western style? Is that boys in? Wait, these ones are like bigger. Oh that shit, makes, that's, that's that a western sense. toilet right there. Oh god, <laughs> it's automatically shut, I was jamming myself in there. Maybe close that, close that. What else do we got on this train? It's pretty, it's pretty fancy, oh god. Shit. Oh. <laughs> the doors are all automatic, so we're just gonna awkwardly walk back now. <laughs> There's a phone. Like action. Oh yeah, cool, it's like a phone room. There's a bin there, and then there's out the window. We're going fast. We've gotta go fast. But yeah, this is our bullet train. This is it's much cooler than the last one we went on. The last one was well, the one over here was fairly fancy, but the the other one we went on from Tokyo is kind of standard. Yeah, they're, they're making a new one that goes like 600k now. Shit, yeah, but yeah. It's good. Let's go sit down before uh, we die. Okay. Yeah, we're actually full on curved. This is weird. And uh, here are our seats. The best part about this fancy bullet train is it stops every 10 minutes. About 5 minutes stop that time. But yeah. But yeah, that's the uh, ride. Almost be back to Kyoto and then... I don't know, yeah. S structure. Yeah, Maccas actually would be pretty good. <laughs> you know, when in Rome, eat what the Romans eat. What does the Romans do? Well, that that one. You know, I'm doing an eating version of that though. Music park. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Toys Us. Shit. Place to buy things. Oh yeah. Warehouse, I guess. Car park. Suzuki. This looks really funny because you look like an excited child on a road trip. You're just pointing things. So we just put Houses. on on the road again, and this song over the top. Queen. And you're just pointing at stuff. Yeah. Houses. 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 Shit. Building. Bullet train. More like stop every two minutes train. For 10 minutes train. In Japan, brief stops. How, how long are they, Bryce? 15 minutes. Yeah, it's a brief stop of 15 minutes. Oh, what's that song? Oh, it's the, it's the chime for once again another stop. Last stop. I'm not happy. Oh, what's that sound, Bryce? 
it means that we're finally getting off the train after being here for <laughs> so it. many when well, we're not just off. there's one more yeah. oh um, my geez. god we're in a <laughs> Good old authentic Japanese McDonald's. Hell yeah. Back from Hiroshima. Had McDonald's. Now we're back at the hotel. Gonna get some ice cream. Got me fancy slippers on. And uh, all's well. We're watching our favorite anime, School Idol. School Idol. It's going great. <clears throat> I kind of really did like that ice cream. Actually, I'm getting a cookie. I didn't get to get that yesterday. I'm getting a cookie. Oh. God, I hope these are good. Yeah. Oh shit. That, that looks actually like in a little, little packet. It's pretty big. Cookies and cookie sandwich. Gonna make it interesting vlogs. Oh, look at that cookie. Oh, look at that cookie. Oh, wait, you get more. Oh, school idol indeed. Yes. Bryce, would you like to join my school idol? Sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going to lose. Best anime, best anime, best anime, best anime, best anime. You get up. <laughs> Fucking hell. Now we're gonna watch some anime, some idol. Go to idol though. Gotta reach that activity goal. Yeah. Turn the light off, bros. So, yeah, in the city of Osaka. Just uh, had our last night in Kyoto. And I think this is the last night in total. In Osaka, yeah. So we're staying, staying here in Osaka, and of course we found the uh, Taku Central area. Yep. So we're gonna go win some more school idol um, prizes because it's the best anime. Yeah, and um, we're just going down some escalators. We just explored a whole tower. Now we're gonna go to Game Station because that's where the real prizes are found, aren't they? Yeah. And then our uh, tomorrow, Universal Studios. It's gonna be a good meme. More cues. We love cues. Cues are the best. Oh, bloody cues, eh? Yeah, but this is a this is a soccer, and uh, we're gonna do some we're gonna do some memes. Guys, we're back for another round of uh, game money waste. Ooh. We're in a soccer now. Uh, we found their uh, version of Akihabara. What are you doing? Oh, no. <laughs> how do you move it? <laughs> I, I, I actually have no idea how to do this. <laughs> I don't know. Around it again. Play of the century. I've almost done it. That was sitting that flat, like that thing behind it, like that. And we just managed to tip it up. I think all we have to do is really lift it from the it. back. Just push it. Or lift it from the back. Nah, oh, you've done it now, lad. No, I wouldn't have stuffed it, would it? You want to lift it from the back? You want to lift it from the back? Okay, okay, okay. Got it, guys. With the help from so, the, uh, the guy came over and uh, adjusted it a tiny bit. And uh, I got it. I did it all myself. That mostly me. Yeah. The fact either. that he came and helped didn't, didn't change. No, we're not recording here either, so we'll be back in a minute. Oh 
me toy. Found out it's worth $15 Australian. And I paid over $60 Australian for it. Did you? I think, yes. Very worth. Uh, anyway, we couldn't get the winning shot because apparently we weren't allowed to have cameras in there, so we had to turn it off. But we've done it. The whole, the whole trip's worth. It's worth it. <laughs> Let's go uh, find a local McDonald's and try it out. Oh no! What? Shit! I got my very own Oculus. How? <laughs> Or you just get with these protective lenses to keep them scratched and yuck. Yeah? Look how disgusting they are. <clears throat> so what are these? So we've got cleaning cloth. Gonna need it. Cleaning cloth. <laughs> oh wait, I can't put it on yet. I have to, uh, I have to put my phone in. So Thomas thinks you don't need an app to use VR on your phone. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Oh, look at that, see how we Hey, my phone's trying to turn itself off. <laughs> don't, don't do that. It's really blurry. How's this work? The oh, yeah. Look at that finger, mate. Look at that finger. Oh, hey, that felt real. Good. Almost got the good cardboard app. Good. Now, I don't know how to press next. Press the select button. <laughs> it's not an official headset. It's not. Uh, so I can't press the button. No. Nah. I literally have to slide the phone <laughs> out, sit it in front of me thing, rotate it until I can see it slightly through this blurry lens and click the button. <laughs> <laughs> So he's got, he's got the VR YouTube video on. Down with it, down with it. <laughs> I can't get it back in. That's what he said to her. Like a loaded gun. Oh, shit. Aren't they some of the steepest looking stairs and everything? Oh, God. So we went for a walk through Osaka after having lunch at 5 o'clock, late lunch, very late lunch. We've decided we're going to have some uh, some sushi, so there's a lot of a lot of choices here. Sushi? Got to do, uh, you know, it's a vlog. It's got to be sushi and vlog. I'm pretty sure all of our travel vlogs have had sushi so far, so going to get some sushi. Um, but yeah, it's really cool where we are right now, like big screens and, and, and everything. Big lit up city right here. So we've ordered the sushi. I'm guessing they well, make it fresh, probably. Yeah. Or well, they've already got some. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know, how long sushi usually take to prepare? Oh, looks like it's already, I think, actually. Nice meal. Efficient here. So we've got the sushi. There it is. Nice. But uh, the problem is, it's bloody raining. So we can't really sit and eat it right now. Yeah. So we've got to go find somewhere to sit quickly, eat the sushi, and then uh, we'll do some legit sushi reviews. We finally found a place to eat our sushi. It's like an undercover car park, and there's some vending machines here, so it's not weird. Um, well, what else are we going to do? Get back to the hotel. It's too far away. I want to eat it and then go to that thing around there. It's a theme park looking thing. Gotta go in there. Looks good. Yeah, it's chopstick Oh. No, no, no. Nah, we'll just quite eat them with our. Really well done. Is it? Oh shit. It's like a little wooden box. I feel really, yeah, I feel really oh. bad opening it. Oh shit. It's like an Apple product. Oh wait, it's different. Why does it look different? Because this isn't plastic. No, like it doesn't have like look as red. Alright, do you wanna do you wanna eat one? Legit? That's legit. That's legit? That's pretty good. I'm not gonna be able to do this while filming. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Just, yeah, believe Bryce. Legit. It's good as. Alright, I'm gonna uh, chomp into it then.
Yeah, another interesting thing about this little little place is apparently down there, down the stairs when you walk in the door is like a restaurant where you like catch your own food in this like water pond or something. Like there was guys sitting down there fishing before. Pretty, it's pretty cool. So we're out on a hunt for uh, Dr. Pepper. We've already passed like probably good 20 vending machines and I haven't found it yet. There's another one. Um, but hopefully soon, but it doesn't seem to be as popular in uh, Osaka as it was in Akihabara and Tokyo, so hopefully we find it. Nope. Nope. No. Uh, nope. Uh, no. Nope. Okay, now we're just not finding vending machines. Oh, another one. Are we lucky? Nope. Oh, but there's a couple more over here though. And they're all no. Do we have it? Nope. Not looking good, guys. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to find any. So apparently in Japan, they have nightclubs at shoe stores. Like they go in there with loud music and I feel like it's a grand opening. dance and party. It could be a grand opening or it could be a shoe nightclub. I think shoe nightclub sounds a lot more exciting. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I'd love to go in there, but I don't know anything or like know what to do in a shoe nightclub. Maybe what? Put shoes on. Yeah. Oh.